No one asked for it, but somehow we still got it. Finally, an anime that is so much of a train wreck that it made me think Sword Art Online was a masterpiece. That's right, an anime filled with absolutely everything. There's superpowers, time travel, human experimentation, alien technology, guns, swords, military syndicates, creepy bad guys, creepy good guys, dark abyss, edgy edge lords, cook-offs, fan servers, and of course, a freaking beach episode. Plunderer is set in a fantasy world called Alsia, where its inhabitants all have a count that is extricably linked to their lifespan. These counts are engraved anywhere on a person's body and are completely random. But you can also get it printed on a sticker, or etched onto a sword, or even embossed on your prosthetic arm. The possibilities are endless, because in this world, nothing makes sense. We're introduced to our main protagonist, Licht, a soon-to-be outlaw who enjoys molesting women while dressed as pudding. He comes across our stock dandere Hina, an orphan who has literally been walking for the past five years in search of the legendary ace to give him a glorified snow globe. Naturally, she's lured into a trap by a creep pretending to be the ace, but fear not. Licked, the real ace, saves her from the fake ace, who then accuses the real ace of being a fake ace who proves he's a real ace by beating the shit out of the fake ace. In the next few episodes, we're introduced to Lynn, a sergeant with a ridiculously short skirt and some swole ass legs. She falls in love with Licht after one small act of kindness, while this cuck just watches. And if all the characters in the show didn't already make you want to end it all, Enter Jail, a stickler overachiever with daddy issues. The fight animations in the show were actually not bad. Well, for the most part. Shut the fuck up. Stop being a fucking cunt. Lick then has a stroke and a new count that never gets explained appears in his eye. But ignore that. Look, it's a kawaii cook-off episode. There's honestly nothing cuter than a girl butchering in the name of love. Seriously though, it's actually nice to see a chill episode for once that isn't full of fighting and drama and death. I feel like we're finally settling the- WHAT THE F- The anime makes a complete 180, where we see elements of our world clashing with the fantasy setup that we had going for the first 8 episodes. I'll be gone for like 5 seconds, how much could I possibly miss? Praise me! Can someone tell me who this pedophile is? I'm a wizard. We're going on a trip. How did this become an isekai? And since when does Licked have black hair? We're introduced to new characters, like this guy with severe scoliosis and no eyelids. Licked's stylish adopted brother, cool dude, and this bitch again. This thing's called a computer. It's a tool people here utilize to gather all kinds of information. <laughs> We learn that all thing, the governing mechanism of the Count and the Abyss, is actually a form of alien technology that humans used to end all warfare 300 years ago. Things are actually starting to make sense. The show is finally feeling a bit more cohesive and is taking a more serious tone. It's bath time, baby! I give up. Everyone gets a star! You get a star! You get a star! No stars for you. Jail somehow becomes the show's new protagonist and Pedal Guy completes his harem by establishing an army that won't kill. Yeah! Let's add more shit to this already convoluted story. Pedal Wizard has superpowers, the snow globe is actually a genie, Jail meets Child Nano who then falls in love with him, Cool Dude is actually Jail's father and just for fun, flying rats. Licked gets a blood transfusion from Pedal Wizard oh, and the rest of the students successfully fight off military invaders. Licked becomes super licked and can move at the speed of light. You either survive by killing us or we survive by killing you. Someone do something before he turns into a homicidal maniac! Not that. Licked becomes a killing machine and he's so far gone that not even panty shots could save him. Crazy bitch, adopted brother, creepy eyelid guy, and Jail's father all get turned into aces while everyone else kills themselves in a volcano. I did not make this shit up. Pedal Wizard then uses the snow globes to create Alsia, which is actually a floating continent. Oh, Turns out he was actually Hina's father this entire time, which makes Licked her uncle. <laughs> Everyone goes back to the future and Lick decides to fight the army all by himself. Ah! How did we get here? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. 
Lin escapes with a fatal wound and tries to wake Licht from his catatonic state but bleeds out and dies. But that would be too logical. She's instead saved just in time by the group of villagers from 20 episodes ago who conveniently knew that she was in danger and were able to pinpoint her exact location in the dead of night. You still with me? They then encourage her to confess her love for Licht which magically wakes him up. But I'm pretty sure it was this bitch slap. Oh look, he's winning! We can finally put an end to this anime! Ah! Jail shows up out of nowhere again, Licked greens out and wins with the power of friendship. Yeah! In the end, all the characters band together, not you, to gather the remaining snow globes and live happily ever after. <laughs> While I do shit on the anime a lot, I actually didn't think it was horrible. The shock factor was definitely on point, but I wished it was more focused. I felt like I was watching seven different shows all at the same time. The timeline was confusing and the whole count system was poorly explained. Granted, the manga probably goes into much more detail, but the anime fell flat when it came to shedding light on what the hell was going on. I have way more questions than answers and the more I dig is the more confused I get. All in all, Plunderer was shit, but it was entertaining shit. I was lost the entire time, but I kept coming back for more. Am I excited for a season 2? Absolutely not, but I'll probably watch it because I admittedly enjoy all the chaos. With that being said, I had way too much fun putting this video together. Maybe I'll make more like it in the future. Who knows? I guess you'll just have to hit that subscribe button to find out.